Hey guys, Chris here with the Volt Vlog, and I have an update about my customer service experience with Aventon Bikes. If you watched my review video, or if you haven't, in that video, I mentioned that I was having some serious issues with the disc brakes, especially the front brake on this bike right out of the box. It never had the braking power that I thought it should have. It was really loud and squeaky. And in that video, I showed that it took 90 feet to stop from full speed on this bike, which is an eternity if you're riding it through the cities like I am as a commuter bike. So I just went ahead and gave them a call, got in touch with somebody right away. Uh, the customer service rep that I talked to was, was very, very good, very apologetic. Uh, offered to send out new brakes, both for the front and the back. So I got new discs and new pads. Uh, it cost me nothing, it was all under warranty. So super impressed with them. And I went ahead and slapped them on and just wanted to also say, part of the problem that I was having, some of the noise, I do believe that there was a residue that spilled on the disc. It was probably the oil from the hydraulic brakes here, uh, which I do think I'm going to have to still fill up this front brake here a little bit more. I do think there was a leak. It still doesn't quite have the pressure that I would like it to have compared to the rear brake, but I went ahead and slapped the new pads on and the new discs and I did the bedding in process and they are performing so much better. I'll have an update video for you guys on that as well in the coming days and show you just how well these will do, but I want to break them in a little bit longer before I actually try to do that full braking test. And, and here's why. I do think, as I said just a minute ago, I think part of the problem was I didn't quite think that the bike wouldn't come to me with the brakes broken in. Uh, I used to call it burned in back in the day. I think it's more common to call it bedding these days. That's kind of what I'm seeing all over the internet. Uh, but I just didn't realize that they wouldn't have come already burned in or that they weren't bedded in yet. And so if you're new to bikes, you haven't been into bikes in a long time, uh, a lot of people who are getting back into biking, uh, especially my age in middle age or even older, we might not have been on bikes for so many years that maybe we've never had a bike with disc brakes. And there is a process of needing to brake your disc brakes in, in order to keep them from being super noisy and in order to make sure that they are going to give you the best braking performance. So I didn't realize that they weren't and I went out and just started go, going out and doing all kinds of tests on the bike and really hammering down on them. And I, I had explained that to the person in uh, customer service and they were still super uh, supportive of sending me out these discs and uh, new pads. So I was really impressed with them, especially since part of the problem might have been that I just went out and started wrenching down on these things and never bedded them in appropriately. And I'll also link in uh, the description to a video by Park Tools that explains it way better than I could possibly explain it to you. They're far more capable of doing that. So anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to give you that update there on customer service. Super impressed with that all the way around. Makes me feel so much more comfortable that this two-year warranty that this bike comes with uh, is legit and they will live up to what they promise. Uh, it sets the bar pretty high for me for future bikes. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you in a future video.